Fauci just spoke about the Mu variant at the White House press briefing uh, this afternoon. I'm going to tell you exactly what he says, if we should be worried, what we should think about the Mu variant. Of course, you guys know the World Health Organization has designated the Mu variant as a variant of concern. It's got a lot of us sort of hot and bothered wondering, is this the new Delta? Is this going to be a big and bad strain like what we're experiencing right now with Delta? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Uh, this is the latest updates. By the way, I have my notes. This is almost verbatim from uh, what uh, Fauci just said. He said that regarding the Mu variant, uh, they are keeping a close eye on it. He said it's nowhere close to being the dominant strain. Uh, the Delta variant is still the dominant strain. Over 99% of cases are due to the Delta strain, so nothing has changed there, he says, but but they're still paying close attention to it, even though it's not dominant, which is a, a good thing. Uh, he does say this, which I think is really interesting. He says that the Mu variant um, has a constellation of mutations that suggest it would evade certain antibodies. Now, this is probably what has a lot of us wondering and worrying, right? Uh, the fact that it's got some mutations that suggest it could evade uh, certain antibodies. Dr. Fauci then goes on to say this includes things like monoclonal antibodies antibodies, which of course we, we, we use to treat people with COVID who are at high risk of progression, antibodies created by the vaccine, as well as convalescent serum induced antibodies, which by the way, sounds important. But then he goes on to say that the data for that, the data uh, supporting that is mostly uh, from lab in vitro data. It's not from a lot of clinical data. So in other words, the data that's suggesting that those mutations can uh, evade certain antibodies is from lab data. It's not exactly the same as clinical data, which means on the ground in people data, okay? So it's preliminary. There's still just a lot we need to know. By the way, those the, that last bit is my comments. He, Dr. Fauci does go on to say that they are not downplaying the mu variant though. They are taking it very seriously. So this is also what he says. He says, even when variants decrease the efficacy of vaccines, uh, vaccines are still quite efficacious against variants of that type. That is a quote. Uh, so the final word is that um, right now they don't consider it an immediate threat right now. That's uh, Those are Fauci's words. They don't consider the mu variant uh, uh, an immediate threat, which is a good thing, but they are watching it closely. They are taking it very seriously. Uh, guys, I think that that's really good information for us to keep in mind. And that's probably and definitely where our heads need to be as well. Let's take one day at a time. Let's learn more as we go on. We just have to see uh, where this new variant falls uh, and what really happens in the end, um, you know, what it's like and what it's not like. I think the most important thing right now is to focus, obviously, on the things that we can do, right? What can we do? We can get vaccinated. We can uh, make sure that we're wearing masks. We can make sure our kids are wearing masks in schools. Kids who are able to get vaccinated, they should be vaccinated all of that good stuff. That's the stuff we can control. That is the stuff we need to be focusing on. But I wanted to come to you quickly with a, with an update on Mu variant because so many of you have been asking me about this. I think it's really important. And this was uh, certainly helpful information for me as well. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. If you've not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, please do. Uh, I do daily health videos. Guys, I'll see you soon.